Hey guys, Proto here. Welcome back to Hydraneer. Here we are for our second episode. Um, so we've sort of advanced a little bit from last episode. I did do a fair bit of digging um, after we left last episode and through the night. Um, but no gold in here, a little bit of iron and some more gems in this side. So emerald and sapphire, I think it is. Um, I brought this little hammer here, which means I can hit things so I don't pick that up anymore. So if I hit it once, drop it down, then I can pick it up again and, and move it. So if you use this builder's hammer, or a construction hammer, hit it once, it means I can't accidentally pick up these things that I don't want to pick up. Every now and then when you drop like gold on the ground and press E to pick it up, you'll pick up the floor. So um, We've got our little smelting area here with our little pot on top. I put another block up here, so we've got this at like our height, which is a little bit better. We've got a hammer for our anvil, which needs to go here. Uh, if we left click on the anvil, it'll cycle through what we can build. Or craft, I should say. So we'll see what um, we can get when we start doing some more digging. I'm pretty much at some points down here, like I can't actually click. Because I think we're that far down that can't dig any deeper with a shovel. So I'll just do what I can and dig where we can. You can actually dig from here and put it straight into there. But you can only put one shovel into there instead of two. So you only get half as much as you probably should be. So what I've done is I've just lined everything up. I can just dump it into there and drop that back on the ground. Dump it into there, walk back, drop it on the ground. That way I'm trying not to kick too many things over, um, which I was obviously last episode. Give ourselves a bit of room to our hole so we don't fall down there. Double click. Boom, there we go. Plenty of gold in there. So what I've been doing is I've got this container here, so I just dump straight into there. Then I just throw this back in the water. Pick it back up. Bring it back. Dump it down. Same as this one. I'll pick this one up. I will dump it straight into there. Go and throw this one into there, pick it back up, and dump it back down again, ready to go for our next lot of dirt. Same with this one, dump it in, throw this into the water, try not to end up in the water, it's sometimes painful to get out of there. Same as this one, Oop, dump it into there, fill it up with water again, like that. Well that was easy to get out that time. And now, obviously, we do have a piece of iron in here, so we'll get that out, throw it into there. We also have a ruby in there as well, so let's get that out, throw it into there. Let's um, take our gold. Now, I've been tipping the whole lot in at once, pretty much, but let's try and sort this out so we can get um, like massive pieces. They're all about the same size, aren't they? close enough to it. So let's get like the larger pieces at one end um, and the smaller pieces at the other. What's that? Five. Then we got five there. So let's just... Oh, that's six. That's alright. So if we go like this, take this off there. Let's go one big piece and a smaller piece, throw that into there. So I don't want to try and, I don't want to overdo it too much. I've been just throwing everything in and, and um, smelting it all at once. I don't know if there's a limit on to how much you can smelt at any one time. So trying to be um, a little bit careful. Make sure I don't smelt too much and not get paid for it. Which I don't think that happens, but I'm going to have to um, jump onto Discord and, and find out, I guess. Let's dump the iron down there. Let's make some jewellery. That's what the plan is today, I think. So we go to there. We can make a ring. Let's make a... What's that? A sapphire ring. Is that ready to go yet? It is beautiful. Throw that back in. Oh, throw it back down there. So we'll grab a big one and a smaller one. Throw it back into there. Throw that onto there. 
we'll pick up our bar. We need to throw that into there to get it hot. Whoop, what was that? That was me kicking the gold. Whoop, and kicking the gold again. You throw it into there so you can see it's gotten hot. Pick it up. Drop it onto here. Grab your hammer. Bang. There we go. So now we have a ring. Beautiful. Right, let's grab a ruby so we can do a ruby ring. We might do, um, should have enough to do a necklace too. Oh, beautiful. Grab, oh god, this is, I don't know what's going on here, but it's sort of throwing me around in circles. Right, let's throw that into there. Grab you. Throw you into there so you can get hot. Look at that. Well, it is. It's sort of like lagging and throwing me around in circles, which is a little bit weird. Right, so now we have, what is it, a ruby ring. Beautiful. We'll have to go and get one of these buckets. Probably that, oh, they're all, I'll just say the empty one. They're all empty, aren't they? Right, dump that down there. Let's throw these rings in there. A ruby ring. Oh, wrong button. Alright, drop that back down. Oh, actually, there's an extra piece there. Alright, let's just throw all of these four in there. Four small ones, and we'll throw the two big ones in the next one. Oop, that missed. What have we got? Yeah, we've got a ring. Did that go in? It did. Let's make kicking the gold again. Right, drop that down there so we can make this into a emerald ring. And we'll do the ruby necklace. Oh, oh. Grab our bar. Grab our hammer. Donk. Pick that up again, the emerald ring. Beautiful. Right, click on that with our left click button. Which will change that into a necklace. Put that right on the end. Is that ready to go? It is. Right, two bigger pieces in here. So we'll take that out of there, but we won't. Um, try and heat it up yet, we'll heat them up together. So we could probably move that to here, but I'm sort of trying to leave ourselves a little bit of room. I don't want to you know, clog ourselves up. So that's already melted. It doesn't take as long when you're not um, smelting as much at the same time. The bigger ones seem to take forever. Alright, there we go. We'll get these guys in. Nice and hot. Get this other one. Where is it? Oh, can't see it. There it is. Quick. Get a hammer. Bang. Huge necklace. That is beautiful. Oops. Let's, um... Oh, we've got another thing over there. Go through, we can do... Three. We could probably do... A, a dagger, like a little dagger. Oh, come on. Throw that in there. Are we picking that up too quick? There we go. And then these two we'll put in separately to make two bits so we can turn into an axe. So I think that's already... No, it's not smelted yet. I thought it was already smelted. No, it's hard to hard to see. Shouldn't be standing up here because it's hot, but you know. We don't have any feet. It's not going to burn our feet. It's all good. This iron's taken a little while. Come on, iron. Still two pieces in there, so they haven't started smelting down yet. Or is that telling me there's not enough... Oh no, there it goes. So I thought it might have been telling me there's not enough iron in there yet. 
drop that down. Give me that one piece into there. Throw you into there, and then we can throw you directly into there. Alright, we can grab that back out. Grab our hammer. Boom! And a little dagger. Throw that in there with the rest of our our wares, I guess. But that was pretty quick. It's only a tiny little one, but it's all we're going to need. Um, Alright, we need to get this in there. It's a little baby one. Alright, turn it into an axe. So they're reasonably quick, smaller ones. Alright, let's throw both of those into there. Really didn't even go in, but it didn't take long to heat up anyway. Oh, stuck on the ground. Alright, bang, there is our axe. Pretty cool, we can't actually swing it and test it out or anything, but oh well. Look at that. Now that's not too bad. Alright, we'll pick this up, we'll run into town and we'll see what we made out of this. Probably not a massive amount, but... Beautiful scenery. I love the graphics like this, it's pretty cool. Alright, we'll throw it up on here. 247, 19? This is how we test out the prices and stuff. So rings, rings are up and the dagger's up. So dagger here is fifteen dollars and well fifteen coins and four not coins, I don't know. Fourteen forty two, so there you go. So you want to sell your dagger over here and the rings because they're up in value at the moment. Why are they not landing on the table? 56, let's get that out of the way for now. 104. Pick up what I want to pick up. 104. 154 until the dagger falls off the table. So that's all better than what we'd get at the jewelers, so we'll sell that. Let's test this out now. What's that? 87.14? We'll um, go and have a look. 87.14. Uh, throw that up there. See, a little bit more. Not too much more, but still it's more. Another 98.17. Which means now we have... Drop them on top of each other. You, apparently they should join together, but sometimes they don't. I know they do down here in the shop, if you take all the coins out and then put them all back in again. They do. Right. There we go. 610. It's not too bad. Um, what do we need now? Probably not much, just... Or digging, I suppose. Just need to get a whole lot more gold and that sort of stuff. I know there's water pipes and stuff over here we can get. Um, I really don't know how they work. There's a shard there. Um, where are we? Oh, there, okay. So if we go... What's that called? Burns Croft, the Bastion Keep, you've got the Bridge, Bridge Vor, I think it's called. So what is that? That's a, the stock market. So we can go this way to another stock market place. We'll go and have a look up there. I know it's a little bit dark. We'll go and have a look and see what we can find. I did do like a 10 million rotation backflip in this truck before too. It was weird. Whoa. 
didn't bring any money with us. This was probably not another good, another a good thing. Watch out for this bridge. We don't want to crash. So this is just a stock market place. I don't know if we can buy anything from here. So this is where you can. Ooh. Uh oh. There we go. So this is where we can come and sell some stuff. So dagger and jewelry is the same. Um, there's nothing else we can do here. I do know there's another place up this way. Come up here and turn right, I think it is. When there's a right turn somewhere. Right in the fork and then the first right, I think is the way we need to go. What I remember from watching Diesel, from Diesel Designs of course, he's um pretty a pretty good YouTuber, probably one of the best, I think. We're up this way, and then if we slow down, try not to crash into anything. Um, all right, what do we have here? We have housing. Oh, windows, walls, roofs, flat roofs, long roofs. How good is that? I had no idea we could even do this. Uh, a door. Fishing pole, construction hammer, which we don't need, we've already got. Concrete floors. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I know over here we have the tools and equipment place. So we have a ram drill. Rams, top level dirt, works faster with better water pressure, gets damaged from unfiltered water. Or a harvester, breaks small chunks of dirt into resources. Alright, so we have water pressure gauge, pressure tank. Water pipe filter, pipe valve, take pipe. So the next thing we probably want to do is set up um, like something like this. So ram drill, ram's top level dirt. I don't know what that does. Doesn't collect that harvest. Um, I'm not sure how that works, to be honest. Here we have a shard backpack. Pickaxe rifle, mag rifle, we have over here, uh, pickaxe, improved shovel, basic shovel, world map, some more foundations. I think this guy is what we really want to get, which we don't have any money for. Whoops. There we go, we need a water filter, gonna need intake water pipe. What's that going to cost us? 696. Um, pressure gauge. I don't think that's going to matter too much. Water pipe. So we need to get it pretty close to... Um, where we're going to use it. I don't know how many of these we're going to need. Let's just say... Two of those, two elbows, just in case. Maybe about a thousand gold I think we're going to need. Which, I can't remember how much we have back there. And obviously we're going to need... This thing goes way fast and back, backwards. Um, we're obviously going to need... Is that the right way? Yeah, that's the right way. Uh, I'm going to need some more foundations and stuff too, I think. We have to be careful up here because I don't want to go and do a backflip over the side of the bridge. Let's whoa, do a backflip anyway. Um, go through the trees. We'll go back and have a quick sleep, and then I'll see what we can get done tomorrow. We're just gonna have to get some more gold, some more gems and stuff, and sort of go from there. Um, all right, jump out of view. That's all ready to go. We can have a quick rest. Let's go and see what sort of gold we have. We're going to need about a thousand, I think. Uh, six tenths, another four hundred, and we would be we'll be laughing, I think. Also, have a sleep. All right, we've got everything's full of water. Um, we just need our shovel. Is that our good shovel? Yep, I should just read down the bottom. It makes it a bit easier. Oops. 
So you can see that when I'm clicking, sometimes it just doesn't want to dig because we're already at the bottom, I think. I think we can only dig to a certain depth in this plot. I know the bigger plots which you have to buy, you can dig deeper, but obviously we don't have the money to be buying a bigger plot just yet. Oh, what am I doing? I'm trying to tip the bucket in there. I haven't even picked it up yet. Alright, there we go. Tip that one in. Grab our brush. There we go. We got just some more gold. And, oh no, I thought we had a gem in there then, but that's just the green circle. Go, okay, let's throw that in. Oh! That was a quick sleep. All gold. We didn't get any iron or any gems or anything. Which is a bit of a shame, but... Oh well, it is what it is. So what I might do between episodes is try and... If we don't get enough money now um, to buy all the stuff, get enough money to buy that next lot of stuff that we need, and then... Um, Try and get it set up, ready to go, so when you guys come back for the next episode, I'm not mucking around too much. Which will probably just make things a little bit better for you guys. Alright, there we go. Come on, get... Oops. Get down deep, dig deep in that hole. Right, there we go. Whoops, it's so much easier if we um. I guess if we just have to dig and then tip the rock straight into that machine, instead of having to fill this every time, it'll be so much quicker and easier. All right, so I just double click straight away, makes it easier. Got a gem, which is good. That's going to help us with making a necklace. I think the necklaces are sort of where the money's at. Alright, a couple of bits of iron in there, which is pretty good. Oh, come on. It's one thing that bugs me about this, is we're kicking things around. Because you've got to get... Oh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just not looking down enough. There we go. If I look down a bit better, I've got a bit more room. Oh, that's a big piece of iron, too. That's good, we can use that to make a sword. I think, obviously the more gold and iron that you use per thing that you smelt, the more money it's worth. I don't think we actually lose lose any iron or anything. If we, like, you can't over smelt, if you know what I mean. Like put, say, put like two, two kilos of iron in instead of just one and you lose that one kilo. I think whatever you put in there you get back, so. That is a big piece. Oh, that's the other piece. I think that's it for in there. Well, let's have another, another bit of a dig, shall we? Try and open up this hole a little bit more. Oh, beautiful. Let's throw these guys in. Obviously, if we could put a platform down, it would be much easier doing this, I think. Uh, where's our brush? There we go. Just jump over it. What do we have in here? Just all gold again. One little bit of iron in there. Oh, and a... Uh, what is it? A sapphire. Another piece of iron in there. Keep pressing the wrong button, I'll keep pressing E instead of the left mouse to tip the bucket. Alright, let's grab our iron out of there. Oop, 
Where's my iron? I'm trying to get my iron, but I can't pick it up. There it is. All right, let's take this. We can um, have a look at smelting this. Let's tip it out. That's one piece. We'll just put one piece in there. And then we'll use these other ones so we can make a sword. Um, let's take that back. Let's grab that. We'll tip that into there because we can take all of this in one go then. Oof. It's a lot chucked on the ground. Not hot enough yet, so let's sort some of this out. So let's go big, big, that's a big piece too. I'm going to throw those guys over there. Sort of try and split all this into three. Let me pick it up, that'll be nice. It's another decent chunk. Ready now? You are beautiful. Throw that into there. Give me this and one more if I can reach. Come on. There you go. Right, drop that down there. Ah, oh, that didn't actually. Smelt that other one, it's still in there, which is painful. Right, throw those into there. As I said, you got two big ones there. Um, we count how many we got. Five, six, seven, and eight. Go three. Come on, four, five, six, seven, eight. I uh, don't. Oh no, you're over at this pile. I think I only want six in this pile because we've got two big ones. There's another big one there, I think. That's five, six. That's another decent size one. That can go in that pile. Be easier if I had buckets. Right, let's throw that down on the ground for a minute. Pick these guys up. Ah, uh, that's fallen onto the ground. Grab the other one. Um. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen left. So five more in each. So if we grab this, and then throw five more that are sitting on the ground. So one, two, three, four, and five. And we can smelt. Well, that's giving me some weird lag sometimes. Smelt those guys down. Let's throw these bars up onto here. Come on. Oh, it's stopping me because of the foundation. Boom, look at that. Nice big sword. Awesome. Alright, let's smelt this away. Probably need to go and get another one of those. Ah, while that's melting we can grab another quick bucket, another pot or whatever they call them. What is it? The crucible even. That way we can fill one up ready to go. Right, let's throw that there. Let's go one, two, three, four, 
five, and then these six. I don't know what's more valuable, emeralds or rubies or you know what what what's the best thing to get. Oh, there we go. That's a big big bar. All right, so we put these ones into there. We can smelt this up. Oop, that missed. Get it in the right spot, and you can just do this. It's even easier. Right, that's a big, big gold bar. That is not ready yet. Let's um, change this over to a ring. Let's go with the um, sapphire. I'm still not ready. All right, well let's throw this in there if we can. Let him get hot. There we go. Ah, oh, get me on the thing. Bang! I don't think it makes anything. Does it make the ring bigger? Or does it? It does look bigger than... Absolutely, that looks bigger than it did before. That's a massive ring. Right, so that can go on the ground, that can go there, that didn't want to do that. I want to put this back up there. I need to throw this on the edge. Oh. Come on, it's starting to get dark. I need to get this done before it gets too dark. Move this out of the way. We need a lot more platform so I can stop falling off it. It's not ready yet. Uh, let's show this in though. Or not. Still waiting for it to go. It does take a little while because we've got so much in there. Right, there we go. Let's um, throw this one over there as well. Throw that onto there, let that heat up. Need to try and throw these on without them falling off, which is going to be easier said than done. Unless we can stack them like that, which makes it even better. And that's a massive necklace. Look at that. All of that, and that's all we made. Oh no. Need to get that in there somehow. Can we... Look at that, slide it down the sword. Oh! No! No! Doesn't want to fit. Can't rotate, I don't think. That's one thing I'd like to do. Alright, can we... Uh oh, this is going to be painful. No! We want it to do that, but we need it to fall in, not out. Doesn't want to fall in. Wants to fall out. Ah! Oh. This is really annoying! to do two trips. Oh god damn it. Alright, we're doing two trips. It is what it is. <sighs> Look at that big sword. It's not the first time I've been told I've got a big sword. Oh mamma mia. Alright, let's go and have a look and see what the stock market is doing. Swords are up. That's a bonus. 40 coin for a sword. Rings and necklaces are down, so throw that into there. Sword was only worth 40. It's, it wasn't a great deal of iron though, was it? So, 125 for that ring. Alright, 
hopefully. But now let's run back. And get our neck loose now. Oh. Be good if they had like obviously once it gets fully released, if they have like a system where we can find out um how much gold is the maximum you can put into it, how much is a ruby worth, a sapphire worth, an emerald worth, so we know if we can put you know, make a necklace with a ruby because it's the most expensive thing. We're going to make more money out of a ruby necklace than a emerald necklace or a sapphire necklace or whatever. So that would be good. Just says that we can sell it. Three hundred and five dollars for that necklace. Mama Mia! All right, let's throw that in there. Well, that was a double press. Let's head down here and we can tip this into the other bucket and see how much money we have and then we can take our gold and buy the stuff we need to and hopefully next episode have it up and running and working and having me know what I'm doing which is highly unlikely a thousand and sixty three which is exactly what I said we needed oh, rightio guys well um we'll end it here um, as I said I'll go and head over to that shop and see what I can buy and go from there and hopefully I can get it all set up, bring you guys back next episode and um, work out how these things work, I guess, because I've got no idea, so we'll have to hopefully work it out together. But um, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the game so far, and if you're going to pick it up when it comes out to full release, or you're going to support it early via Patreon, let me know. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito, thanks for watching. See you again soon.